Hi there everyone. Welcome back to the art studio. Welcome back to another episode of Paint with Jim. And today I'm not going to paint anything. I just wanted to share a, a tip with you and something that I didn't find really a whole lot of information on. So I had to dig a little bit and maybe this will help you. So here we go. Uh, I've got several different canvases here and what I want to talk about is how to deal with a loose canvas and so sometimes you get these this is a 16 by 20 canvas came out of one of these value packs that you get uh, 16 by 20s you get five canvases for ten dollars or something like that and the canvas comes and it's really and it being white I don't know how good this is going to show up on the video but there's a lot of play in this it's it's pretty loose and when I paint I like to have the canvas pretty tight when I paint and all of that now the value pack canvases and I they don't come with what they call the canvas keys but they do have the slots in the stretchers oh about lost the painting there I want to show you a few different ones so that's why I have these up here but Try to hold this up where you can see it you can see these slots in the stretcher bars and they make those so that you can get these canvas keys and they're either wood or plastic some of the canvases like i like to use frederick's canvases when i'm doing paintings uh, that i'm going to try to sell and the Fredericks canvases come with the canvas keys and these are plastic um, you can get either wood or plastic so I have a bunch of those just laying around and this is one where I, I've already done the sketch I haven't started the painting yet um, but just wanted to show you that the you know the if you the Fredericks are a little more expensive so don't worry don't have those really stretch and, and get loose uh, quite as bad as the the lower end but here's what I do I'm going to show you a couple of ways that I handle this if I'm just going to do a painting uh, so I've got a painting here that's already done so I'm, I'm going to deal with that in in just a second and show you what I do with that but this canvas if I were going to try to paint on this is way too loose for me and it's really really simple because it this is just cotton this is just raw cotton canvas on the back. So I just take the canvas, uh, take the gessoed side, the primered side, flip it over. So now you've got the raw side. And I just take a spray bottle and all over the back of the canvas, and I just spray. And even up behind the stretcher bars, and I coat it pretty well get a good coating of the water on there and then I'll either take a brush or in this case a paper towel and just kind of spread that water around and get it behind the stretcher bars and just that quickly the back of the canvas is wet now in my case I happen to be on a little bit impatient side um, so if you take a blow dryer now set this on just set it on the easel here and just blow dry it this will be tight as a drum what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this one to the side and just let it dry on its own and again I don't know if you can see as that dries it's gonna get tighter and tighter and that drum sound it's gonna get tight like a like a drum so that drum sound is gonna change because the the canvas is gonna get tighter but I'll show you, I'll come back to this one. I'm gonna set it to the side and then talk about the one I've got on the easel right now. This is just a painting that I did for my wife to hang in her office. And it's, I don't know if you can hear that. You probably can't see it, but the it's super loose. I mean, I can, that's the canvas hitting the, the stretcher bar back here because it's so loose so I'm going to show you how to put in the canvas keys and what you'll need 
you'll need two for each corner. So you'll need eight canvas keys and you'll need some sort of a, a little hammer. And here's what I do. Um, I just take the, the canvas key and I put, that has a little angle on it. I don't really know if that makes a difference or not. Um, and the air just kicked on, so I apologize for the background noise there, but um, I usually point the angled side toward the stretcher bar. So we'll go in. And these are off the, the slots. Try to hold this up so you can see it here. The slots are offset, so one is in front of the other. And so what they do is they create pressure against each other and kind of wedge against each other. So one goes in vertically, one goes in horizontally into the other slot, like that. So you end up, can try to bring that up there so you can see it. And what I usually do is I do both corners Oh, drop my hammer. Apologies for that. So then I get my little hammer, and then as you tap, what happens? These stretcher bars, they're not glued together or anything. So what basically what we're doing is we're separating the stretcher bars. So we're taking and pushing these the corners of the stretcher bars out. So you kind of want to do it evenly so you don't uh, mess up the shape of your. Don't mess up the shape of your canvas. And so, tap them both ways. So then, flip it over and do the other side. You'll hear the dog barking in the background. She doesn't like the hammering. So I'm going to do the other side here. Again, just one in there. And again, I put this, see how this has a, the side here that's got the little corner cut off? I put that down on the stretcher bar like that. And then as you tap that in, and you, you got to tap both ways. And you got to whack, you know, give it a decent whack, but I'm really having problems getting the hammer to stay on the table. Now what happens is that's a lot tighter than it was because now I can't shake it. If you remember, I could, I could shake it and have the canvas hit the stretcher bar, this cross bar here. I can't do that anymore. I still think, think I want it tighter, so I'm gonna hit it some more, but I'm gonna do that off camera. But that's the drill on that. And you just keep tapping these and it creates some space because these, these were tight against each other and it, it creates space in there and opens that stretcher bar up. And so you, you do have to hit it. Um, let me see if I can show you that there. See that space that's in here now? That wasn't there before. So I'm just gonna give that a few more taps before she takes it to her office to hang it on the wall. And then if I, what I do, like this canvas is really, really tight already. And so I'll go ahead and paint on this and then I'll just hang on to these. I just keep these and then put them in a zip top bag on, on the shelf. And if I need to down the road, I can use these on any canvas 
that needs to, to be tightened up. So I hope that helps you out. And if you have any questions or concerns on that, just leave them down in the comments and I'll try to get to them and answer them for you. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps you deal with any kind of, um, let me bring this one back. I said I was going to do that. Remember how I was showing you how loose it was and how far I could push. I hope that shows up, but how far I could push my finger up on the canvas. I can still push it some, but man, it, it's way tighter. The canvas is way tighter than it was. And that's just because I wet the back and as the cotton dries, uh, it stretches it back. Uh, it, it actually shrinks the cotton a little bit which makes the canvas tighter and so I do that a lot when I'm painting because I, I don't like to paint on a loose canvas I like I like my canvases pretty tight when I paint on them so that's a couple of ways to deal with the loose canvases whether you're painting or in this case if you've got something that's gonna getting ready to go to someone to get hung on the wall um, and you don't like how loose the canvas is you could put some of the keys in the corners and tighten it up so i hope that helps thanks for joining me in the studio today i'll be back with you again on another episode of paint with jim